myself Jimmy Chong Singh. I am assistant professor in NJIT. Student, welcome to session number two of trigonometric leveling. You know that in a session number one, I have explained different topics of trigonometric leveling, like what is a trigonometric leveling, a different type of trigonometric leveling. I have explained about some terminology of trigonometric leveling. And then I will explain some overview of the different type of case depending upon the field condition. So now, student, please, you have watched the second video, but first you have uh, watched video number one before you watching the video number two because uh, you have understanding the all the concept. First you have watched the what video number one, so you have clearly understand. Uh, particularly video number two so now first case number one in this particular session I have explained about case number one base of the object is accessible so student you know that depending upon the field condition and the measurement that can be made with the instrument available the following three cases are involved I have already explained and given an overview of Three, three cases in a previous session with session number one so you know that there are three important factors one is the field condition measurement and instrument available the, depending upon the, there are three cases first case base of the object is accessible so in this particular session I have explained case number one case number two and case number three I have explained in a next session Case number in this particular session, I have explained a derivation of the case number one as well as the example of the case number one. So you have clearly understand and you have clearly all the concept you understand of the case number one. Now you know that you have find the particularly height of the object. This is our object. You know that this is a LJ campus. You have pre, uh, set up the instrument are there, and you know that this is a base of the object. So you have directly using the chair or tap, you have directly find the horizontal distance between instrument station and base of the object because this is a base and object are there. So you have directly find using the tap or chain and can you have can reach easily to base of the object. So this is case or this is a uh, field condition is called as the base of the object is accessible. So now here first I have uh, explained a derivation of case number one so first step you have draw the figure determination of elevation of the object when the base is accessible the object is vertical object is vertical this is our object you know that these are consider that these are our LJ building and this is a base of the object now it is assumed that horizontal distance between the instrument and the object can be measured accurately and I have already explained you have assumed that this is the plane trigonometric leveling portion because the distance between instrument and object is a very small so you have assumed that horizontal distance between the instrument and the object can be measured accurately with chain or tap so now I have starting all the I have explained all the parameter given in figure so you have clearly understand first P is the instrument station R is point to be observed you have you know that our R point is point to be observed and you have find the height of them this is HI height of instrument this is the RL of benchmark this is a staff here you have considered this is a staff Stuff. So, when you have uh, using the theory light, because you know that in a particular trigonometric leveling, when you have find the theta, but uh, means vertical angle, use the instrument is the transit theory light. So now, using the transit theory light, you have find the vertical angle theta, and you have find the staff reading. This is a staff reading. Here, this is a staff. And you have find the staff reading and staff are established on a benchmark staff are established or held on particularly benchmark 
capital D is the horizontal distance between the instrument station to the object means base of the object now you know that in a triangle O R and R dash so this is a line of sight and our object is above the line of sight means this is a angle is called as the angle of elevation when you the angle uh, or means of ob our object is below the line of sight so it's called as a depression but here consider that the observe and observe point is above the line of sight so it's called as angle of elevation so now from the triangle o r r dash you have you know that you have find the h because you have already given in a data rl of benchmark is given height of instrument is given so you have find our unknown point is capital h okay so now you know that uh, the base of the object is accessible so the distance of the instrument to ob uh, object is you have find the using with tap or chain so now you have considered triangle o r r dash so you know that tan theta equal to you have considered the tan theta so opposite side divided by into nearer side so r r dash divided by o r dash r r dash is a h and uh, O R dash is a capital D. So you have easily you have uh, simplifies this formula and you get the answer of H equal to D tan theta. So our formula of H equal to D tan theta. So you know that our unknown is capital H. So getting the answer of capital H is equal to D tan theta. Capital D tan theta. Now, now you have find the H equal to D tan theta, student. Then now you have find the RL of the R point, reduce level of the R point. So when you have uh, find the derivation or example in a, any case, you have first find the D, capital H and RL. But in a first case, base of the object is accessible. So you have you can directly find the capital D with using the tap or chain. So here, particular in a case number one, you cannot the find the capital D with formula. You have find the capital H and RL. But in a case number two and three, your sequence to be found first capital D means horizontal distance, H means the height, and third is the RL. So here, getting the answer formula of H equal to tan theta, d tan theta. Now you find the RL of the R. So if the staff reading is a H, so your equation of RL of R equal to RL of benchmark means here, student, listen student carefully, you have reached the point capital R. So you have started from the RL of benchmark plus small h. So you have reached particularly line of with line of sight. Now you have addition of value of capital H. So you have reached the cap point R. So I repeat this step. When you have reached the point RL, you have find the RL of R. So first you have add of, add of the value of RL of benchmark plus small h plus capital H. So here RL of R equal to RL of benchmark plus small h plus capital H. So RL of benchmark plus h plus d tan theta. Why d tan theta? Because here you have already find the capital H value is a D tan theta. So this is our formula of RL of R. So in a derivation, first step, you have draw the figure, then describe the, all the elements. Then you have find the formula of capital H, H and last you have find the RL of R. Now I given one example based on particular session number one. So you clearly understand. A theodolite was set up at a distance of 150 meter from tower. The angle of elevation to the of the parapet was 10 degree 8 minute while the angle of depression to the foot of the wall was 3 degree 12 minute. The staff reading on a benchmark is 50.217 meter with the telescope horizontal was 0.880. So find the height of the tower and the RL of the top of the parapet. So first step number one, when you have solved the example, step number one, 
first you have written the data which is given in an example. So first step, given a data, a theolite was set up at a distance of 150 meter from tower, means the distance between instrument to the object is a 150, so capital D is equal to 150. Now, the angle of elevation of the parapet wall, means this is the angle of elevation, I have uh, explained in a previous slide, what is angle of elevation, what is angle of depression, when the object is above the line of sight, means R is the above the line of sight, it is a line of sight, the dotted line is the line of sight from the instrument. So our object is above the line of sight, so its angle is called as elevation, but R dash is the below the line of sight, so it's called as the, the angle of depression. So theta 1 you have considered the angle of elevation and theta 2 you have assumed that the angle of depression. So theta 1 and theta 2 is already given in an example. Staff reading means small h is given when you have uh, set up the instrument and find the staff reading with using the telescope. So h is given 0 0.880 meter is given and RL of benchmark is given 50.217. You know that you, I have already explained all the terminology in a previous session. RL of benchmark means some reference point and when uh, in an example you have directly means in an example given a data of RL of benchmark, so directly taken from the particular data. So RL of benchmark is given, H is given, theta 1, theta 2 is given, D is given. Now, here, so now, after the step number 1, all the data is given, now step number 2, draw the figure. So first, here, you have draw, starting from the ground, this is our ground. You have arranged, set up the instrument P. This is our object Q, RQ. Here, angle of elevation is 10 degree 8 minute, angle of depression is 3 degree 12 minute. HI means height of instrument. Staff rating is given 0 0.880. RL of benchmark is given 50.217. The distance between object to instrument station is given. Now, simple, you have find the there are uh, in an example you have find the height of the tower and the RL of the depth of the parapet. So first here you have find the H1 and H2 and add of them so you clearly understand you have find the height of the tower. So how to find the H1 and H2? So find the height of the tower, find H1 and H2. So H equal to H1 plus H2 you have to find. Now first we have find the uh, from triangle ROC. So you know that h1 equal to d tan theta 1, so d equal to 150 and theta 1 is 10 degree 8 minute, so getting the answer of h1. Similar that, based on triangle r double dash oc, so 150 is uh, our uh, d, 10 is 10, angle is 3 degree 12 minute, so answer is 8.39 meter. So you are getting the answer of h1 and h2. Now Add of, uh, add of that, so h equal to h1 plus h2, so you have to find the total height of the tower, means per, uh, total building. Now, next you have to find the RL of the top of the parapet. So this is a R, top of the parapet means uh, uh, RL of the top of the parapet's point is a capital R. So you have to find the RL of the point R. So starting, you know that I have already explained in a previous slide, first starting from RL of benchmark, so RL of benchmark is given, plus small h reading is given 0 0.880, in a example is, in an example given a the, uh, value of h, then add of the h1 value, so h1 value is a, we are already fine, uh, here mistake I have written, here answer is 26.81, so add of that, so answer will be 77.907 meter. So this is the example of case number 1. Based on case number 1, here I have repeat this example. First step given a data, so you have already, uh, which is give, data is already given. So first you have write, then draw the figure, then you have find the H1 and H2 and add up them. So our first answer is clear. Find the height of the tower. Then you have find the RL of the parapet wall. 
so our point is r so you are starting from the rl of benchmark plus small h plus capital h1 here uh, you have written 26.81 i have uh, mistakenly written 28 then add of them so answer will be 77.907 meter so this is the example based on uh, case number one so thank you so much for watching this video in this video session uh, student i have explained about the case number one derivation and i have explained about some one example of the case number one base of the object is accessible